there are like passionate people, there are crazy people, and there is me. It's tough to talk about A Way Out without talking about its writer-director, Joseph Ferris, who, after an impassioned speech at the 2017 Game Awards, became something of an internet phenomenon. F*** the Oscars, you know? <laughs> F*** the Oscars! F*** you! I'll tell you! I was like, this is bullshit! There was already quite a lot of attention on A Way Out after a stunning E3 2017 trailer took the internet by storm, but this speech put the game on pretty much everyone's radar. Whether it was a candid moment of pure enthusiasm for the game he'd been pouring his heart into, or a brilliant marketing opportunity seized, people were talking regardless. Look, 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 I'm gonna say to you one thing. I'm gonna say to you one thing. After directing a number of independent feature films, Ferris entered the game industry as the director of 2013's Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, which earned critical acclaim for its unique mechanic of allowing a single player to control two characters with two thumbsticks. He then went on to form Haze Light Studios in 2014, and now, several years later, we have the studio's first offering. The reason it's important to take Ferris's history and creative philosophy into account when considering his newest game is because, in a lot of ways, A Way Out feels like Ferris is making a very personal and very grand statement about games versus movies. A Way Out begins with a simple enough premise. Set in the early 1970s, Leo, a hot-headed bank robber, and Vincent, a wrongfully imprisoned banker, decide to work together to escape prison and exact revenge on a common enemy. Our chances would be a lot better if we worked together, and you know that. The game can only be played cooperatively, either locally or online. And in fact, online co-op only requires a single copy of the game, which is definitely a really nice touch. The story blends a number of genre tropes from crime noir to gangster movies, with a classic MacGuffin at the center of it all, a rare diamond in the possession of the game's villain, Harvey. Take the deal or stop wasting my time, all right? While the game's cooperative and constantly changing mechanics are innovative and unique, the story is definitely a tad cliche at times. My name is Williams, and this is my prison. While many of the conversations between our two leads are quite insightful, and even kind of touching at times, there's a lot of other instances where the dialogue kind of falls flat. Please, you know I have to do this. I can't believe you, Vincent. Thankfully, the game delivers a satisfying conclusion and wraps everything up nicely in about six hours. The chapters set in prison are definitely the tightest in the game, with quite a few brilliant set pieces and tense moments throughout. The environmental puzzles here are some of the best in the game too, and while none of them are too difficult, there's still definitely satisfaction in figuring out the solutions as a team. The way the game takes you from moment to moment, constantly changing the mechanics and the actions that are possible is ambitious and totally fascinating if kinda clunky. It's refreshing to experience so much variety in such a short amount of time, but the sheer number of different mechanics means that certain things definitely suffer. Sure, it's really cool when the game introduces fast-paced driving and shooting scenes after you've spent the last hour performing tense, silent takedowns, but as a result, there feels like there's an overall lack of polish. Are you serious? Yeah. A Way Out is definitely a jack-of-all-trades, master of none, but considering the scope and the ambition on display, it's pretty easy to overlook in the end. Ferris is a filmmaker at heart, and it shows. There's one scene in particular involving a chase through a hospital that, if it were filmed in live action, would be one of the most impressive long takes of all time. It would also be impossible, so there's that too. Ferris takes advantage of the fact that it's a lot easier to move a camera through a digital space than it is to lug one around in a real location. Here, the camera moves seamlessly through the building, capturing all the action. And though your ability to actually interact with the set piece is limited, it's still pretty captivating. There's also a lot of interesting moments that involve moving and changing the split screen. For the majority of the game, it's split evenly, but occasionally one character's point of view will take up the majority of the screen, or the entire thing altogether. It's an interesting storytelling device that's really effective at controlling the pace of the narrative. What makes A Way Out special and worth playing isn't the fact that it includes some truly breathtaking cinematic moments. Plenty of games do that. and. You know what? Movies do that too. Where the game really shines though, and where Fair's passion for the interactivity of games shines the brightest, is in the truly collaborative moments between the characters, and by extension, the two players controlling them. Whether you're catching fish and starting fires to set up camp, trying to get an old busted up truck up and running, or just kicking back to play some Connect 4 in the hospital waiting room, these are moments that are truly unique to video games as a vehicle for storytelling. While you don't have much say in how the story actually unfolds, you do have the option to slow down and just kind of hang out, 
Take your time to talk to the NPCs scattered throughout the game's surprisingly detailed environments, and negotiate the best course of action with your partner. What's important in the end is that A Way Out delivers on the promise of its premise. This is an incredibly cinematic and fascinating co-op experience that's constantly offering new and interesting ways to interact with the environment and story. While there are moments where the story stumbles, it ultimately finds its footing and delivers a captivating tale of two guys on the run. It's genuinely exciting to think about how Ferris, and obviously other game developers too, will iterate on this kind of multiplayer, story-driven experience. Damn. Yeah. Thanks for watching Mojo Plays. Be sure to subscribe and click on the link in the description below to check out our suggestion page and vote on what content you'd like to see us cover next.